Hey everyone, I'm Ultimate 456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 23 of Lost Planet of Neo 2 Remastered. Alright, let's continue and do one more submission called the Fire Gods Magatama. Hey, I have a request. I want to try and forge something new, but the furnace just isn't hot enough. This calls for something out of the ordinary, and that means Magatama. You remember, like the one you grabbed for me before? Well, I've heard that some can be found over in Okahazama. Do you think you can help me out again? If you do, I'll be able to forge even finer blades, so there's definitely something in it for you too. Alright, let's head back to Okazama. So this is an interesting mission, it can take uh, a little while or it can go by really quickly. I'm going to try and make it so that we just like complete it as thoroughly as possible. Oh, I just realized I've got to put the ninja skills and all that kind of stuff. I'll do it after this mission. So. The way this works is there are, uh, I believe it's three, three big chests in this mission and each of the chests has a chance, oh hang on, stay, stay still, stay still, huh, yeah, and again, yes, <laughs> beautiful, that worked out really well. Each of the chests has a chance to have the, the fire god's Magatama in it. Now as soon as you open the chest and I don't know if it's on opening the chest or on collecting the Magatama, the mission will end and basically make it so that you can't you can't get pretty much anything else that the mission has to offer. So I'm going wow. <laughs> that was interesting. So what I'm gonna try and do is um is go to all the areas in this mission. Another Garki Soul Core, interesting. I'm gonna try and go to all the areas in this mission, collect everything, and then we'll go from there. Okay, no, oh, one, two, one, two. Yeah, that move is, I'm pretty sure that move is new, the one where he like breaks apart and and moves. Hey, you got maximum familiarity. <laughs> and a white toke, Tokagemaru. I'm so surprised that I've not had uh, an exotic Tokagemaru because if, if I had, I, that, that would definitely be what I would be using. Uh, let's throw this. This is a, what? <laughs> How did that not hit? Good. Thank goodness there's no friendly fire on that. Oh, come on. Die already. Let me heal up. Uh, let's use... Oop, that's not what I meant to do. It works. One, two, three, four. Roll. Two, three. Lightning damage. Oh my gosh. I got very lucky. I actually thought I was dead for sure. Ooh, yay. Nure Ona. I'm actually liking the idea of getting more uh, soul cores as I play, like the soul core drop rate. Just. Good, finding manipulator. It's probably going to be the Enki that I need to defeat. So there's the, there's the chest, or there's one of them. So it's either going to be the Enki or this, this one. Okay, let me hit you with this. Oh, it was just enough of like a smack type of damage that it would knock, knock her down. Yamana, y Yamamba. Okay, where is the Enki? Because he should still be alive. Here we go. He's going to restore. Yep. Come on. Wow, he almost got lightning struck, poisoned, and uh, flamed at the same time. Alright, thank goodness he went down because that would have been a big problem. Alright, I'm fairly certain I collected basically everything here except for the chest. You can see on the map it's got a it's got a like a purple dot. So I'm gonna ignore that for now and I'll come back when I've completed the rest of the mission. Uh, let me go down here because I want to see where the like dead end is. Hello. Come on. Stab. Beautiful. And I'll just not muck around. Just destroy over that. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, hello. Come on. Nope. These Gakis are very tricksy. I love the way you can like knock them back and they just fall back like that, but they can be tricky because they drop 
Uh, I can drop the paralysis stuff. Okay, there's a Wyra. Um, how am I going to do this? Let's go over here, see if I can... If you go... Oh, I was going to say, if you go slow enough, you can probably get to a point where... There we go. That can happen too. Get away from it. Somehow the Wyra hasn't seen me. One, two, three. Yes! And I, oh, crap, I forgot about that. <laughs> I somehow have four soul cores. Oh, there's... yeah, you. Uh, wait. Throw. Throw. Avoid it. Die. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. He's gonna roll. Uh, let me buff up. Okay, we're, we're okay. Oh. <laughs> we're not okay because I pressed the square. Oh. Now. Oh, please don't kill me. Please, please, please. He's gonna kill me. Oh. I'm alive. <laughs> I don't know how. I'll use another, another one. There we go. Beautiful. Spit. Looks like I could spit again, but I'm not going to. Do this. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got a water on Mamari. That's pretty good. And another. Holy crap, man. The soul cores are, are going insane right now. I'm like, I, this is like probably close to the luckiest I've been. Five in like an early mission like this. Alright, so we've got. That's another chest. I won't open it, but I'll just get close. So, one. Is there any other secret path to take? I don't think so. Yeah, alright, now let's go back and we'll complete the last section. And then once I open all three, then I can. Oh, sorry, once I complete all three, then I'll go back. Oh, what was that now? Oh, okay, it was you. One, two, three, four. Uh, you yeah, know what we can do? We can have a look at my um, proficiency with swords to compare to my axe. So let's see how we're going with that. It's already on level 13. <laughs> like, it's two levels higher than the axe, which is interesting. Alright, I gotta be careful here, because I think there's, yeah, there's an Enki in the tree, so be careful of that. The Garki over here. One, two. Beautiful. Let's see if I can get rid of this guy. Excellent. There's the last chest to check. Um, there's another dude over there, and he dropped a, um, another soul core as well. Gotta be very cautious because I think there's some other, there's one here. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna pop another elixir. Even though I only had a little bit of health loss, I wanted to not risk it, I forgot about you. Okay, let me uh, run, away. run away. Run away! Hmm. I got very lucky with that. Okay. <laughs> so slow. Smack. One, two, three, four. Oh crap, I can't. What? Oh, she chased me. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Man, it's so difficult to play because I still have my my injury from the previous episode. With my, my thumb. Head into battle, let me restore my honor. Okay. Alright, now I think there's two Enkis, so I can see one. Ah, it's the Garki, that's right. Hmm, surprised he didn't go for the mo What is happening? Like, I know I've got a boosted soul core rate because of, um, I'm, is it my guardian spirit? I think it's my guardian spirit, I can't quite remember. Uh, and that enemy, alright. Um, hmm, this is a tricky one. I think I'm gonna go for the Enki first. Let me get a fire talisman going. I'll hit him with this so I can knock him down. Oh, he reacted a lot quicker. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's do this. Is that enough? It's not enough, but we're almost there. 
Yes. Alright, one more enemy to kill and then we're fine. Except it's a bit of a tough one. Oh, nope, two more enemies to kill. Oh, please stop. No, he noticed me. One, two, three. Please die. Yeah. Come on. Let's heal. Okay, good. Oh, that was a big hit. One, two, three, four. No. Uh, run. It's so hard to play. Spit. Can I paralyze you with this? Nope. Can I throw this at you? The poison is working. Come here. Hmm. One more. Yes, good. Run, run, run. He's so close to dead. <laughs> it's so difficult to play, and I got the Karasu Tengu call. Alright. It wasn't perfect by any means, but we survived. I should have, yeah, I should have used my Guardian Spirit, I'm just realizing. Okay. So that's it, and now we will collect the three chests. So one is up here. Eight soul cores, <laughs> what are the chances? Uh, no, this one didn't have it. Masters, Archers, Greaves. That's good. Oh, yeah, you can jump down here as well. Go, go, go. Uh, was it back here? Yeah. <laughs> Will it be the last one? No, it's there. Okay. And... You know what? I'm gonna leave it. Because I'm gonna try... Seeing if I can actually... I, I, I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure if you collect it, you won't be able to open the other chest. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. Come on, go, go, go. I think my Guardian Spirit actually gives me some run speed as well. I don't know if I'm getting conflicted or confused with my, uh... Wait, did I skip it? No, it's up here. I don't know if I'm getting confused with my... No, maybe I did skip it. I think I did. Yeah, silly me. I did skip it. It's this one. Might be getting confused with my practice. Open... Ah, okay, nothing good. I also forgot I uh, remembered, well, I also was just watching back like one little moment from my previous episode and I forgot to explain Fragrant Wood if I had a, if I haven't before, so I'll do that. Let me quickly get there. And there it is. Fragrant Wood says, there it is. Driftwood with a fine scent which has come from another land. Prized as material for incense, it can be used to deodorize bad smells. Okay, yeah, so it helps you get rid of the the stench debuff, which is decent, but a lot of the times you get the stench debuff because you're in like the miasma of the stench rather than the um rather than it, it just affected you, so it's it's good and not not good at the same time. Alright, here we go. It's beautiful. This is the first time I've ever laid eyes on such powerful Magatama. This is sure to give the furnace quite a boost. Hey, I don't suppose I could ask you to get more. The furnace looks like it'd be able to handle even more heat. If you do, I'll be able to make even stronger metal and forge greater swords. Mountains of them. Well, maybe not mountains. Anyway, I wasn't wrong about making you better gear. Wait and see. And you get a whole bunch of, like, blue gear. Look at all these soul cores. <laughs> man. It's insane. If only some of them were, like, useful to me, but unfortunately they're not. This one would be good, but you need so many of them. Um, yeah, I've been looking through them a lot in practice, trying to figure out, you know, what's a good one to get. Alright, let's start by going to the... Wait, let me change before, let me have a look. Um, yeah, Soul Core Drop Ray is up. And the funny thing is you could also, like, I was, I got eight. I could also do Make Offering and change it to Soul Core Drop Ray and get, like, another, well, at the moment only 4%, but I could get, like, another 5% with that. So that's kind of funny. Alright. I want to go to the hut and start reading some illustrations, and then I will... Why did that come up again? That's strange. Hmm. I guess the game just didn't save since I closed the last time. Alright, let's read through these. So... We read that one. 
Here we go. It is said that only the most skilled of master blacksmiths turn into Ippon Datara. Legend has it that their obsession with their work drives them to harness the power of spirit stones, thus losing their souls to sorcery and transforming into yokai. The weapons these masters create are imbued with an otherworldly beauty, and there is no limit to the zealous collectors who desire them for their private collections. What else have we got? The word ghetto also carries the general meaning of being lost or of one who has strayed from an established path. Sado, the left path, also holds the same meaning, as there was an ancient belief that the right side was the true path, whereas the left path was the oh, was the path of evil. Whereas the left was the path of evil, that an aberrant soldier's yokai power resides in their left arm can surely not be a mere coincidence. Do not let your guard down when facing an aberrant soldier. Even if they remain at a distance, the shells fired by their left arm can prove deadly. Yeah, the left is always known as like the sinister, I think it's called the sinister hand or something. A kamai tachi is said to ride the wind, slashing at its victims with biting gales. Folk tales about a yokai shrouded in wind are rife throughout Japan, with some regions using the word kamaitachi to refer to whirlwinds themselves. In the Shinkoku region, kamaitachi is known as nogoma, wild sickle in Japan, in Japanese, due to a belief that a sickle abandoned after clearing the grass for a grave will eventually turn into this yokai. And is that it? Oh wow, okay, cool, we got through that pretty quick. Let's have a look at the new guardian spirits. Um, did we read this one? I have a feeling we didn't read this one. Kagewane. This guardian spirit resembling a shark is actually a type of Tatarigama, cursing god. Although they are usually hostile towards humans, they will offer their protection to those that worship them. It was said that Kagewane would eat the shadows that fell on the surface of the sea and that those who had their shadows eaten would die shortly after. This was deemed to be a way of punishing man for venturing out of his realm. As such, sailors would make offerings to appease the sea gods before venturing out into the uh, out to into the water. Okay, they've got to take out two. Um, before venturing out into the waters, while wani means crocodile in modern Japanese, it also it was also previously used to refer to sharks. There is also a theory that the kage wani was in fact a crocodile, sea serpent, or orca that later transformed into a shark as a manifestation of the image its many worshippers held of it. I think we read this one. Pretty sure we read that one. Don't think we read this one. Roku Gezu. Roku Gezu, meaning six tusked elephant, takes the form of a gigantic white elephant. Elephants were once used in Tianzhu, modern day India, as a symbol of military might, with the number of elephants possessed by an army corresponding to that army's perceived strength. It is said that in heaven, elephants served as the Buddha's mode of transport. It is widely known that the Bodhi. Bodhisattva, Samantabhadra, and Sakra, Lord of the Divas, were also elephant riders themselves. While Rokugezu may be adorned with florid decorations, its ferocious countenance and six sharply tapered tusks exhibit its ability to mercilessly crush, it, crush its opponents. Yoshimoto inherited Rokugezu from Sesai Choro, his most trusted retainer and longtime teacher. Damn, that was like one of the hardest things I've ever had to read. <laughs> ok Okuri Inu is a dog spirit that is said to follow those who walk mountain roads in the night, killing and eating those who are unlucky enough to lose their footing. While this makes it feared, it has also been known to protect mountain folk from wolves. Some choose to worship Okuru Inu, Inu believing that its predatory nature serves as a precautionary tale that serves to educate and therefore protect the people. These believers have a custom of thanking Okuru Kini, uh, Okuru Okuri Inu, every time they make it off the mountain roads unscathed. In some regions, a wolf known as Okuri Okami, literally escorting wolf, so I guess Okuri Inu would be escorting dog, <laughs> is believed to play the same role. This is also a slang term used in Japanese to refer to a man with impure intentions who tries to escort a woman home. Uh, Makami. Did we read? Uh, yeah, I don't think we read this one. These wolf guardian spirits, also known as Oguchi no Makimi are said to be the servants of the mountain gods. Mountain wolves were seen as the embodiment of the fear and awe men felt towards the mountains, the domain of the gods that they were unable to claim for themselves. However, they were also worshipped as protective spirits, for they hunted the vermin that would harm crops and were also believed to ward off fires. As servants of the gods of volcanoes, it was only fitting that they had the ability to manipulate fire and protect against it. We read this one. Yep, okay, cool. 
finally got through all those. Uh, I don't have enough time to go through the character directory. What I will very quickly do though is I'll go to the blacksmith. I'll go forge. It tells me that I handed over the Kagutsuchi's Magatama. Uh, I don't have any other swords to create. I wanted to though sell. Let me have a look at the special finds. It's almost never got anything good. Hmm. This one actually could be all right. 10,000. Yeah, I'll, I'll skip it. I'm going to sell everything that is uncommon or below. Now that should be weapons and gear, but I'm just going to double check. Yes, okay, it was. Okay, weapons and gear. I pretty much don't need any yellows and all that kind of stuff. I got this transient blade before. That's decent. I might be able to transfer that damage bonus familiarity onto... I had a different weapon, didn't I? I had the Demon Horde Katana and this one. So I think the reason I can't transfer it is because I have final blow damage. It's also very expensive. Let me try it. Let me see what happens. Let's say I put the... hang on. Wait, why could I not... Did I lock it or something? Wait, now I'm really confused. <laughs> Where is that weapon? Oh, it's low. Demon Horde Katana. If I was to change this to say like active skill key consumption instead, and then I was to do soul matching, would that work? Um, I want to do this one. Hmm. Why doesn't it work? It must be related to one of the others, but it's very strange. Maybe because, ah, oh, because it already has a damage bonus uh, in the special effects part. That must be what it is. So you can't transfer that one over. Damn, that sucks. Okay, well, it is what it is. I'll leave it like that. Let's disassemble, honestly, just disassemble everything that's rare, rare and below in terms of the weapons and all the gear, same thing. We pretty much don't need any of that, so just get rid of all of it. And I'll have a quick peek at what other gear I have. And that, that brings our, you know, total gear down by quite a bit. We got this, which is very heavy, but very strong. And we got this, which is very light. How does it compare? Strong attack key damage goes up versus Amrita earned. Um, this is probably better. In fact, it, yeah, it is better. Unlimited ninjutsu is not bad. Let me quickly... Oops. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I still haven't done that uh, on Mio because it takes a while to build that up. Let's go with... Let's get rid of toughness. Let's say Emery to earn. Hmm. Then I have defense, toughness again. There we go, defense. I like having defense. Faster winded recovery. I think I have that on something else. I'll leave it like that, actually. I wonder what I'm going to look like when I put that on. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. And then the greaves. Greaves are pretty much the same thing. It's a little lighter, but I get more defense because it's such a higher level. Hmm. Maybe I'll leave that one. Wait, my one has like n so little difference. Oh no, I have to leave. I have to leave my courtiers greaves because it gives me a lot of uh, toughness. These Nanban greaves don't give me enough toughness. In terms of the weapon, what do I want to use? Coin throater is a spear, so I don't want to use that. This one comes with imbue corruption. I might actually use this. The vicissitudes of life. Now, is there anything, does it have, let me have a quick look, coin threader, yeah, you know what, I might be able to do it with, yeah, if I put the coin threader on, I can actually access that bonus, active skill key consumption, so I think that's what I'm going to do, and I don't think I have, well, it definitely doesn't have that, pit viper robes, I think I actually did have one of them, but I probably got rid of it when I, what are the other things that it has, 
robes, Hakama and shoes. Yeah, I just checked all those three. Okay, well, at least my active skill key consumption is down by 5%. 5%. And I'll get a corruption-based weapon. Okay. I think we're good to, good to go. I'll just have a look at this water on Mori. Oh, wow. Life drain, ninjutsu hit. AA minus. And enemy sensor. Hmm. And how does it compare to my abacus? Melee damage versus paralyzed enemy. I'm not really using paralyzed enemy anymore. Proficiency bonus I still need. I like having the luck bonus. Life drain ninjutsu hit is really good though. And water resistance. Enemy sensor. Man, I, I like it, but it's... You know what? Uh, I'm going to change my... I'll just change my other one. Where is it? Uh, the abacus. I'll change the melee damage paralyzed enemy to something else. Uh, let's just say that one for now. Projectile. This one. What I want. There we go. That's what we want. Melee damage versus poison enemy or even poison accumulation. Oh, there's a familiarity bonus. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> I think that makes it better. But the other one I got was very good too. And last thing I'll do is level up. I'm going to put a point in... Do I want to put a point in dexterity? I kind of do because it's going to really bolster my ninja too. Plus I need to... I know all these episodes are going long, but oh well. Samurai... Ninja. Oh, probably should have waited a little bit longer for that one. Oh, and I got a shifting skill point. Okay, I want to get rid of this today, so so I can continue on the next one. I'm not really using Shuriken Shooter, but I like it. Uh, and I want this. Actually, let me get this one. The enemy will drop an item when you pull off a successful sneak attack. It's it's like I do sneak attacks quite a lot, so I may as well get that. Normal running speed by three is decent. Levitation scroll I think will be good later. And so I got the Paralysis Shuriken. Ah, Ninjutsu Capacity. That's what I want. Yes, definitely. But I think I need that one. Yeah, I need this one here. I need the Caltrops. So we'll get that, and then we'll get Ninjutsu Capacity. Shifling Skill. Um, there are so many good ones. I like this one. Imbues the shockwave that is produced when activating Yokai Shift with an element determined by your Guardian Spirit. So I'll do that, because I think my Guardian Spirit is Brute. And so it'll imbue the shockwave that comes out when I activate it. I don't really like that ability that much. This one's good. Increases the maximum amount of key that can be recovered by key pulse by 30% for certain active skills. Magic bonus. Reduces the damage dealt. Exchange so consume less key to form. I might actually try that one. Nimble slice. The reason I wanted to get that one is because the skill that I use the shadow sword, this one. Um, yeah, that one. Let's do it on mid stance. So on high stance, it increases the key damage and on mid stance, I'm gonna put nimble slice because well, it already does only a little bit of damage. So it's only gonna reduce the amount of damage that it does by a small amount in terms of 20% and having it cost less key is really good. All right, cool. And we got some titles somehow. We got, but yeah, so cool. <laughs> So I'll call drop rate, uh, yokai damage, anima charge, and extended shift. Cool. All right, we've got a bunch of stuff. And next time, after that really long episode, we're going to do the hollow fort fortress, which is actually a very long mission, so it's going to take a while, but I'll get through it somehow. All right, so for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 23 of Let's Find Neo 2 Remastered. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.